Now, if you as a homeowner go to these do-it-yourself websites, like here's an example. This one is from a, a chemical company that uh, spraying, uh, selling organic, like cedar oil, natural remedies. Okay, let's say, for example, you're using these ineffective, inferior products uh, because they're, they claim they're natural. Yeah, if they're, na you know, they're natural, they don't kill on contact. They, they don't kill for the long term, so you got to keep spraying. So let's just say you do spray your own thing. There's all these arrows are the most common spots in a bedroom that bed bugs can be. Okay, so you know that. Well, that's wonderful. But that information is dangerous for you to know. Because now you're thinking, well, great. The press professional showed me the spots that the bed bugs can be, so I'm going to spray my own thing, cut out the middleman, <laughs> cut out the professional. In my case, the solution maker, you're going to cut me out of doing the pro uh, treatment safely and guaranteeing the service, and you're going to try to do it yourself. And what's going to happen is that you're going to spray these areas, and you're going to make the problem you're going to ex make the problem way worse than you can ever imagine because it's not going to work and you're going to uh, uh, you're going to annoy them and get them running around and they're not going to die and as they run around they're going to scatter all over a typical bedroom this is when the problem is really out of hand already uh, when people call me the, the, the problem is really contained in a specific area around the bed but all these arrows represent what happens when you're spraying your own stuff. They're all over the bedroom, all over the house. That's because somebody's using an inferior product, like a fogger or a dust powder. You know, and you're using large quantities because that's the only way, say, don't Dutch Mesa's Earth could work. You're using the wrong, the wrong grain, the wrong type. Uh, makeup of uh, there's a different kinds. Of, there's a freshwater diatom that you're supposed to use, but you're supposed to use a lot of it for if they even stand a chance. When they do that, it makes the problem way worse because you're putting powder everywhere. You're breathing that as a human being. <laughs> that's dangerous for you now. And then you know, the bed bugs aren't going to stay on that powder or mess with that. So they're going to move away from that area and go all over the other rest of the house where you're not messing with them to the point where they're in the wall voids and the logical and the framework that you can't, as a, as a homeowner, don't know, uh, have a clue on how to treat these spots properly. It took me about six months to even learn how to spray properly. And that was for cockroaches. Just to do a pro It's an art. Doing this you get good at it as you do it over the years. You as a homeowner, oh, that, you press a button, some chem, uh, some liquid comes out. I could do that. <laughs> you think that as a homeowner, but there's an art to it. And there's safety involved because if you spray too much pressure and it's the crack, you got to know what you're doing because then the, you know, you're putting too much pressure in a, in a, in a crack and crevice, it can come back into your face, you know. So the homeowner is just really not recommended at all. Just cut, just just pay the professional to do it right. In my case, you hire a Luminex.